Dozens of drivers in the district are heading home with tickets tonight, but police and road safety advocates are hopeful they'll also leave learning a lesson. It's all part of the Street Smart program looking to improve pedestrian and bicyclist safety in our region. Max Marcilla joins us live from the intersection of Langston Boulevard and Fort Myer Drive in Roslyn. And Max, what happened where you are standing a few years ago is a big reason why this campaign is pushing as hard as it is. Yeah, it was back in December of 2018, Tosin, when a woman was walking her then four-year-old baby in a stroller across this street when a dump truck made a left turn and hit the woman. She considers herself one of the lucky ones because she was able to push her baby in the stroller out of the way. The baby was unharmed. And again, she considers herself lucky because she only lost the left leg, did not lose her life. Tonight, that woman, Helen Harris, spoke with us about the platform she now holds and the advocacy and the advocate she has become. It was a very traumatic event, as oftentimes um, pedestrian accidents tend to be. Helen Harris says the physical and psychological healing from the crash that led to her left leg being amputated has been a huge component of her life. But as we speak with her on Zoom more than five years after the crash, there's a new purpose. Why was it so important, given what you went through, for you to kind of advocate for, for pedestrians? This is something that unfortunately happens to many individuals across our community. Just steps away from where we spoke with Harris. The work of a campaign she's a part of and helped inspire, the Street Smart campaign. It's partnered with several police departments in our region aimed at teaching and promoting pedestrian and bicyclist safety. These officers are pulling over drivers who failed to stop as another officer crossed the street back and forth over and over here in Southeast on the corner of MLK Avenue and B Street. Drivers getting a ticket and a lesson. The reason people kind of forget about warnings, but, but they remember the tickets because they have to pay them. What would be your message to drivers considering you're an important voice in this conversation? Um, nothing is as important as getting home safely. You don't have to be in a rush. You don't have to check your phone. Pay attention to stoplights, to pedestrians, to cyclists. We all have to inhabit the streets together. Now, education and enforcement is making a difference. Last year was a bit of a better year. Street Smart says 115 drivers, though, excuse me, 115 pedestrians, walkers or bikers, were killed in 2023. And that actually is better than what happened in 2022, a really deadly and dangerous year. Harris says the work must continue as they work to get closer and closer and eventually, hopefully, to zero pedestrian fatalities. Reporting live in Arlington, Max Marcella, DC News Now.